cannot tell. It is super early. Good morning. Oh man, it is early again. And it just passed an extremely low tide. It's actually a negative tide that, that peaked about 45 minutes ago. Today should be great. Last time I came out here, I got blown out. Wind was super, super strong. So big swells, a lot of wind, couldn't really fish. Today, the swells are a lot better. Doesn't seem too rough. Let's get started. It's a little damp this morning because it's been foggy. Uh, so you just gotta watch your step. Oh, slippery here. Good place to set up right here. Let's jump our stuff down and then come back and get you guys. First cast, a little Kitex swim bait right there. Kind of black color. Black on top with a white, white belly. Kind of using a new, new setup here. I really like this rod because it's super, super light. Man, the tide is super low. I'm fishing the incoming tide today. Never seen it like this over here. Never been out here when it's so low like this. All right, last time I was out here, I used this little six inch grub. Caught a fish on the second cast. Let's see how this worm does. I put an actual worm on there. Well, an artificial worm. All right, y'all. I've thrown multiple combinations of swim baits here. No bites. So we're gonna move. We're gonna find a place where the fish are biting. Oh, oh man, I just dropped my lens cover right there. I was up there and it fell off. It actually fell down this crack here I was like oh man that's it's gone forever I'm not gonna be able to find it and luckily it's here I see it I just don't know if I could get my arm down there it's kind of an awkward spot all right oh yeah got it Whew. all right let's get fishing you know what what I might do while I'm here and the tide is still somewhat low, is I might harvest some mussels and use them as bait. They're not biting on the swim bait, I'm gonna throw some bait out. Now I'm just looking for the best spot to, to get to what's the most accessible and easy to climb back up if a wave comes. All right, let's go find something. This might be a good spot right here. It's kind of flat right here. It's a little wet, so that means that water is definitely washing up over here. A bunch of these mussels over here, they're small though. Let's see if I can look for some bigger ones. Oh wow, wow, look at this. That's a fat limpet right there. That's good bait too. I'm gonna get this one. These guys are limpets. They're like basically snails. That's their head right here. Don't know if they have eyes, but they should be great bait. This right here might be a good spot. Right here I see some mussels and if there is a big wave that comes in, I'm not gonna get washed out over here. I will get wet though. 
so I just gotta wait. But I just need a few muscles and I see some here. Here's one. Really don't need too many of these. Bunch of crabs down there. Maybe a couple is fine for now. And I have that limpet. Alright. What I can do right now is store my bait in the shade. And I'm gonna tie on a classic fish finder rig. You guys know why, right? I need to find me some fish. Goodness. White today is crazy. It's so bad. Oh. oh. Struggling out here. I'm trying different spots, different baits. Think up first, I'm gonna throw on that limpet and see how that does. Caught cabs on before with the limpet. I'd be happy with cabs on right now <laughs> or any fish. Oh, okay. Probably use a three ounce weight. First thing we need to do is remove this limpet. They're like huge snails and they eat. Oh, this one's. This one, no wonder he's fat. Look how full he is of a. That's basically kelp and, and algae all up in his guts. So that's the meat. And that's the shell, basically with all the guts. The good thing about limpets are that the meat is super tough. So they're gonna stay on the hook well. All right, man, wish me luck, y'all, because I'm gonna need it. It's really not a far cast at all. And now we wait. Well, even though that limpet is supposed to stay on the hook well, it didn't, it came off. Don't know if something pecked it off or what. Remember everyone, mussels are okay to harvest for bait, but, but we shouldn't consume them right now. It's quarantine here in California. Just a reminder. So there are parts of the mussel that are generally a little tougher than the guts. Let's toss it out. Let's toss it close. Right there. That's super close. I got some bites. Got it. Got it. I wonder what it is. Got it. Cabazon? I don't know. Rockfish? Finally. Finally got something. It's a little... It's a little fighter though. So kind of heavy. What is it? Come here. Finally! What is it? Oh, it's a... My greenling! Oh, there's a fat greenling! Another greenling! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man! Finally! Dude, yo! Finally! Finally! After all day, nothing was biting and I come across a fat kelp greenling. This red color though. But man, finally, I tried everything today. He's still got some of the, uh, the muscle in his mouth. That is a chunky greenling right there. I tried everything from swim baits, different presentations, different types of swim baits. Oh, nothing worked. Had to harvest some bait. I didn't bring any bait today. So looked around, found a limpet, found some mussels, bit on the mussels. Oh man, finally, that's gonna be my lunch. And I am hungry now. Oh, it's right there. It just, I think it just came. 
like right there. Does anyone know what that is? Yeah, I, I just saw it come out. I don't know if I got that on camera. I feel kind of wrong just zooming in right here, but you know, I'll let him do his thing. What a day. I thought the bite was gonna be great. Came out here early again, but nope. And that's just fishing sometimes. But hey, one fish is better than no fish. So I got a fat greenling that I'm gonna prepare and cook up for my lunch. Man, I just can't seem to get away from greenling recently. I'm like a greenling magnet. Oh, uh, we're gonna prepare it and uh, and enjoy some lunch right here on the rocks. All right, got two fillets here. Uh, one thing you gotta be careful of. Oh man, let's check this out, guys. See that, that's a parasite and it's moving. See it, right, this guy right here. So, that's right in the middle of the filet. And so you need to cook these guys thoroughly. Also check them for parasites and stuff like that. I mean, it's definitely trying to get away right now. Look at that thing move. Oh shoot, it's huge. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pull it out. But yeah, um, just make sure you cook your fish thoroughly. thought that the more parasites a fish has, the healthier the fish, actually. It's one nice filet. I'm gonna take out the pin bones. is almost done we've got some lemon pepper onion powder salt garlic powder real simple but rockfish just tastes amazing you know that it's done when it goes from a translucent color to this white color and the meat will become super flaky let's turn off the heat Throw a little black pepper in there and we're good to go. Got ourselves some delicious right here. Ooh wee. Here, let's get this really big piece, right? If there's a big, yep. So easy to just flake off and come off like that and it's pure white meat inside. Woo, let's go. I'm hungry. That's just one plate too. I'm gonna eat both of them after I try this. Cheers guys. That was, that was a day. Mm. Flaky white meat. Oh, it's so tender. Oop. My bad. Hmm. What a day. What a day, what a day. Flaky, flaky. It's cooked to perfection. Thank you, Greenland. You are delicious. I thought the bite would be great today. Everything predicted it to be great. So lunar calendar, which I don't really, I don't really look at, but the swells and the wind. We're good today. Anyway, yeah, what do you guys think are important factors when it comes to your shore fishing? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Greenland cooked up fresh like this, gotta be one of my favorite fish. So amazingly tender. This was a stud of a Greenland. Gave me a little surprise too, a little squirt squirt. You know what I mean? Can't get any better than this. I got an amazing view. Check this out, guys. Enjoy that right there. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the last of that greenling and have that, enjoy that. Take a little chill break. Uh, just sit here and be thankful for what we have. And then I'm gonna hit that hike back. So catch you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this little journey with me. Tough day of fishing, but the mussels saved the day. And they're not biting on anything else. Look for natural bait around you. Till next time, guys. Peace.